15 prohibitions and bizarre things that only exist in Peru. Welcome to Peru, a land where not a single drop of rain has fallen in 600 years, a place adorned with hundreds of gigantic drawings on the ground, and a nation where people have a peculiar taste for cat and mouse meat, engaging in annual New Year's brawls. Allow me to introduce you to this unique country, and in this video we'll explore 15 prohibitions and peculiarities that exist only in Peru. Number 15. Mouse Meat Addiction While in Europe, guinea pigs are considered pets, in Peru they are raised by the locals and prepared by marinating the whole animal with garlic and salt, then frying it to a crispy perfection or skewering and grilling it as a traditional delicacy that has been enjoyed for thousands of years. Mouse meat is typically roasted or fried crispy, one of the famous delicacies in Peru. This dish is a favorite among native Peruvians, such as the Moshe, Incas, and Quechua people. Many claim that all Peruvian children become addicted to this flavor until they pass away after consuming it. Guinea pig meat has high protein content and lower cholesterol compared to chicken, pork, or beef. In Cusco, there are even programs to raise guinea pigs as a food source for cancer patients, as their meat is considered healthier than other types. Guinea pig in Peru even has its own national celebration, held on the second Friday of October. When offered guinea pig by a Peruvian family, even if you are hesitant, it is advisable to try a little, as locals consider Kui guinea pig a delicacy reserved for honored guests. Number 14. Fighting to welcome the new year. If you find yourself in Peru during the last days of the year, never try to prevent the locals from engaging in fights. In fact, you might want to join in to bring yourself good luck. As bizarre as it may sound, this is entirely true in this country. During the year-end festivities, the Chumbivilcas province in Peru hosts Takanakui, a festival similar to Christmas, but much more lively and dot 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 violent. At first glance, the event may resemble festive celebrations in Latin America, except here, people openly engage in physical combat right on Christmas Day. Entire communities gather in large areas to witness hand-to-hand -hand combat. The purpose of Takanakui is to resolve accumulated grievances and resentments from throughout the year, whether disputes or personal conflicts. In essence, after enduring the year, people come together to release their built-up frustration through physical combat in front of the entire community. While it may sound violent, Takanakui is fervently supported by the people of Peru. Rather than suppressing emotions for an extended period, Peruvians encourage individuals to express their true selves and release anger once and for all. At least the local community in the town of Chumbivilcas believes that this activity helps eradicate negativity and promotes a happier coexistence. However, before eliminating negative aspects of relationships, many individuals have suffered severe injuries during this festival, and some have even lost their lives due to fatal blows from opponents. Number 13. Survival Rules with Locals Many tourists have been attacked in Peru, often unaware that small actions can provoke strong reactions from the locals. For example, attempting to speak loudly in English to Peruvians who speak Spanish can lead to mockery and disdain. Tourists might be perceived as arrogant and disruptive, especially in traditional Peruvian markets. Such actions may result in locals shooing away tourists, and immediate attacks can occur if someone tries to take a photo without consent. If you want to photograph an individual or a small group, it's crucial to ask for permission first. Failure to do so might lead to locals yelling at you and even physically attacking to seize your camera. Surprisingly, when you report such incidents to the police, you might be shocked to find out that the police ask you for financial compensation for those who were photographed. Therefore, extreme caution is advised when it comes to photography in this country. Pay special attention to capturing images of police or military personnel, as well as their corresponding buildings and structures. Learn about the photography regulations and always respect the people living in the area. Number 12. 600 years without rain. All right, we just talked about a water-filled place in Peru, but now let's explore a location seemingly abandoned by the gods, as it hasn't received a single drop of rain in 600 years. The peculiar city in question is Lima, the capital of the Republic of Peru. 
According to scientists, Lima has experienced almost no rainfall for over 600 years since the last significant rain shower. Meteorological data indicates an annual rainfall of only about 15 millimeters in Lima. This figure is not even one-fifth of the average rainfall in the Sahara Desert, one of the driest regions in the world. Rain in Lima often appears in the form of mist that moistens the soil without forming actual droplets. Consequently, the residents of Lima rarely need to carry umbrellas or raincoats when going outside. In fact, the city doesn't even require drainage systems. Many houses in Lima are designed without roofs, and some are even constructed using hardboard. Meteorological experts attribute Lima's lack of rain to its unique geographical location. Situated on the eastern slope of the Andes mountain range, Lima is also home to the highest peak in South America. Despite the absence of rain, Lima never faces water shortages. Close to the ocean and with the Marca River nearby, the city has abundant groundwater. Additionally, residents of Lima tap into the water supply from the Parik River, formed by melting ice from the Andes. Not only does Lima have sufficient domestic water, but its water sources also support thriving vegetation. Indeed, it's a peculiar land that only Peru can possess. Number 11. Gruesome Cat Meat Festival I don't know what to say about this festival, but if you love cats, you might find it unsettling in Peru, as the locals view cats as a delicacy rather than as pets. Held annually in September in Canet, Peru, the Cat Meat Festival shocks many as it features the consumption of cat meat in various mouth-watering dishes, from sophisticated cat steak to traditional huacate cat dishes. Participants in the festival can witness the cat meat preparation process and enjoy artistic performances that honor this unique culinary experience. Peruvians believe that cat meat is rich in nutrients and notably enhances male libido. Of course, an entire army of cats is bred specifically for this festival. Along John Ayacucho in the center of Lima, tourists can easily spot shops selling cats as well as birds, monkeys and reptiles of uncertain origin. These animals are confined in hardboard boxes or cramped, rusty cages. Animal rights activists criticize the conditions of these captive animals, organizing protests outside Peru's bullfighting arenas in an attempt to save the lives of the cats. Despite their efforts, cats continue to be bred, sold, and served as a delicacy on the plates of the Peruvian people. Number 10. No cheap bus rides and aggressive taxis. If you truly want to try your luck in finding gold, here's a piece of advice for you ensure your safety until you reach your destination. In Peru, every 10 people in traffic experience 1.7 accidents. Traffic accidents are prevalent in Peru, a country plagued by careless drivers and poor road conditions. According to regulations, the safest way to travel by bus in Peru is to choose reputable bus companies. When taking a taxi in Peru, opt for a modern-looking, well-maintained vehicle with a clearly visible taxi sign. Avoid taxis without signs, extremely old taxis, and those with dents on the body. I've tried it before, and you won't know which curve death will pick you up from. Number 9. The largest bird in the world. The Colca Canyon is home to the largest bird species in the world. This majestic creature has a massive body, making it the largest flying bird globally. Individual specimens have been recorded with a body length of up to 2 meters, weighing 20 kilograms, and a wingspan of 4.5 meters. These birds can fly for hours without flapping their wings. Originating from the Andes mountain range, it is considered a sacred bird by the Inca people. This bird is known as the Andean condor, or the god of the Andes. Despite being called a condor, it is not closely related to other condor species worldwide, although they share similarities, especially in their scavenging behavior. They have an excellent sense of smell, unlike other condors worldwide, which rely mainly on their vision. The Andean condor locates carrion by detecting the smell of ethyl mercaptan, a gas released by decaying corpses. The people of Peru consider the god of the Andean condor an integral part of their culture and religion. In Inca civilization, the condor is revered as the god of the sun and one of the most significant divine beings. The condor is depicted as an eagle, symbolizing power, strength, and sanctity. 
According to the religious traditions of the Inca, the sun is seen as the source of life and the energy for the nation's development. Thus, the god of the Andean condor represents the loftiness, power, and sanctity of the sun. It is essential to refrain from photographing or causing harm to this bird to avoid significant consequences. Number 8. Red River in Peru There's a place you must visit in Peru, the Vilcanota mountain range, where you'll have the opportunity to witness a unique natural phenomenon, the river flowing red like blood through pristine stone valleys. Cusco, home to the Red River, is a city in southeastern Peru near the Urubamba Valley of the Andes. The locally named Palcuela Pucamayu, or the Red River, is formed by rain from the famous Palcayo Rainbow Mountain nearby. The reddish color of the river comes from various mineral-rich sediment layers formed by soil erosion. The river's intense pink-red hue is particularly due to the presence of iron oxide from the red areas of the mountains. Many people, upon seeing a photo of this river for the first time, may think a massacre occurred at the mountain's peak, causing blood to flow down and dye the river red. Fortunately, this is not the case, although the river water is indeed brackish due to the high iron content, it's best not to touch it, and when posting pictures of it, be sure to explain that it's not the result of editing, and the red color is not blood-related. Number 7. The Mysterious Nazca Line If you're someone who believes in conspiracy theories, extraterrestrial existence or time travel, then you would likely be fascinated by a place in Peru, the Nazca Desert. This desert can be considered one of the most mysterious deserts in the world, as its surface is marked with hundreds of enormous geoglyphs for which the origin remains a profound mystery. These intricate drawings depict humans, llamas, birds, killer whales, cats and snakes. Notably, some patterns resemble the animated character Homer Simpson with wide open eyes and a feature that resembles a mustache around the mouth. The images date from 100 BCE to 300 CEE, some recently added lines enhance the original drawings but have become blurred due to erosion. The Nazca lines in Peru have captivated the attention of archaeologists for centuries. They are large patterns created on the ground, located in the Nazca Desert, southern Peru. Ancient people used simple surveying tools to create these lines. Some drawings depict animals, objects and small images, while others consist of simple geometric shapes. The true meaning and purpose of the Nazca lines remain a mystery to archaeologists. Some theories suggest the lines acted as an observatory, indicating the rising and setting positions of the sun and other celestial bodies throughout the year. Others believe they were created for gods in the sky to see. Some even propose that extraterrestrials drew them for entertainment. Still, in the end, it remains an enigma, and who knows, you might be the one to unravel it. Number 6. The 750-ton gold treasure. If you want to become incredibly super wealthy, then head to Peru, where you can find the legendary 750-ton gold treasure of the Inca Empire. The tale of the 750 tons of gold from the Inca Empire dates back to the Spanish invasion of South America, leading to a series of explorations spanning over 500 years in Peru. Historical records state that the Inca people controlled most of Western South America, concentrated in the Andes mountain range through conquest and peaceful assimilation. In its prime, this empire unified present-day Peru, southwestern Ecuador, western and southern central Bolivia, northwestern Argentina, most of present-day Chile, and southwestern Colombia, comparable to other empires in Asia and Europe. The Inca economy didn't use money and lacked a market. They exchanged goods and services through reciprocal relationships between individuals, a community, a group of people, or Inca leaders. Simultaneously, Inca residents accumulated assets in the form of gold, jewelry, and other precious minerals. Before succumbing to Spanish conquest, the Inca people are believed to have amassed up to 750 tons of gold, valued at approximately 37 billion USD at current rates. Inca General Rumanahoi allegedly hid the gold in a mysterious, pristine location, continuing to fight until his last breath. The exact location of the treasure remains a question without an answer. The area is believed to be around the Langanates Mountains, and every year, many people still visit this place in hopes of changing their lives. Number 5. 
The empire of counterfeit money. Be cautious with the currency you exchange or receive as change in Peru, as it could very well be counterfeit money. Peru's police anti-counterfeit team estimates that the amount of counterfeit money produced in the country is much higher than reported. They state that the seized counterfeit money in the past two years is only a small fraction of the various types of fake money circulating, including Peru's Nuevo Sol, mass-produced by illegal printing presses. A recent check on six different currencies in circulation found counterfeit values exceeding 27 million USD. Notably, fake 100 USD bills comprise nearly one-third of the total seized counterfeit money, along with counterfeit euros worth 4 million USD. The remaining fake money included Bolivian Bolivianos, Chilean Pesos, Peruvian Nuevo Souls, and Venezuelan Bolivars. Sophisticated counterfeit bills can easily circulate in the United States in retail stores, where cashiers are less vigilant. Only the newly designed 100 USD bills are found in the US, while 10 USD and 20 USD bills are sent to many neighboring countries of Peru, where there is a high demand for US dollars, such as Argentina, Ecuador, and Venezuela, where currency controls are less strict. Number 4. The highest lake in the world. You might not believe it, but at an elevation of 3,800 meters above sea level, there's an incredibly vast and beautiful lake, the gem of Peru, Lake Titicaca. Lake Titicaca leaves its mark with an immense surface area of 8,372 square kilometers, situated at the cultural crossroads between Peru and Bolivia. This lake, with its pristine beauty and intriguing history, was once the cradle of the magnificent Inca civilization. The emerald green color of the lake resembles a grand natural painting, marking the natural boundary between two South American countries. The lake experiences a distinct climate with two seasons cold and rainy or cold and dry, with freezing temperatures possible during winter nights and intense sunlight during summer days. When you have the opportunity to travel to Peru, especially to visit Lake Titicaca, you'll experience a different world where traditional culture and ancient ways of life have been preserved through centuries. The floating Euros Islands, ancient revered churches, women wearing bowler hats, and men with colorful hats are characteristic images unique to Lake Titicaca. It's truly an unforgettable experience, but remember that this lake can be extremely dangerous, with over 70 drownings reported each year, and more than half of them are tourists. Number 3. 3,000 Potato Varieties I have never seen such peculiar potatoes with various colors, sizes, and flavors as those in Peru. Peru boasts thousands of potato varieties that we have never known. When visiting Peruvian markets, the diverse and uniquely shaped potatoes will immediately captivate your interest. Previously, it was believed that potatoes did not have a single origin but were rather multi-originated, with the region of origin spanning from Peru to northern Argentina. However, recent studies by American scientists revealed that all present potato varieties trace back to a single origin a type of potato that grew in Peru over 7,000 years ago. This conclusion was drawn after analyzing the DNA of 261 wild potato varieties and 98 cultivated ones, and these are just a few varieties among the 3,000 potato types that Peru possesses. If you visit Peru, try to experience the different flavors they offer compared to the potatoes you eat at home. Number 2. Bride-shaped waterfall. Not everyone can witness the silhouette of a bride in a white wedding dress on their first visit to Casada La Novia waterfall. Casada La Novia is a new tourist attraction, drawing visitors to the town of Namora, Cajamarca, Peru. The intriguing aspect of this waterfall is that, after heavy rain, it takes on the appearance of a bride in a white wedding dress. According to local legend, many years ago there was a young couple deeply in love in this area. However, their love was forbidden by their families. Despite opposition, they were determined to be together and held a wedding. On their big day, the bride's father shot the groom with a rifle. Overwhelmed by grief, the young girl ran towards the mountains, still wearing her wedding dress. Here, she pleaded with the mountain and Mother Earth to transform her into a beautiful waterfall for generations to come. This waterfall is located in a secluded, wild and undiscovered place. 
However, since some tourists visited, discovered its charm and shared it online, more and more people have been drawn to explore it. Number 1. Rainbow Mountain A natural wonder in this country that exploration enthusiasts always want to set foot on is Vinikunka, also known as the Rainbow Mountain. Vinikunka stands at 4,876 meters above sea level, situated in the Andes mountain range, about 100 kilometers southeast of Cusco, Peru. Unlike other rocky mountains or those covered by forests, this mountain provides a completely different feeling as it is adorned with a colorful coat, even though there are no trees around. Like other mountains, Vinikunka is essentially a natural rock formation. However, climatic conditions and differences in mineral composition in the soil have caused this mountain to develop such colorful stripes. According to geological experts, this mountain was covered by transparent snow for a long time. Until the 1990s, the melting of glacier water created the multicolored phenomenon seen today, in which the dominant colors often visible on Vinikunka are pink, white, red, green, and yellow. Pink is the result of a combination of red clay mixed with sand and mudstone. Green is the combination of phyllite and magnesia clay. Yellow comes from sulfur-rich limestone. And finally, white is derived from mudstone combined with stones containing calcium carbonate. It is known that the Inca people had discovered this marvel a long time ago. However, they had no intention of commercializing it by promoting tourism. It wasn't until about five years ago that Vinikunka began to gain attention when mountain climbers shared stunning and majestic images of this unique mountain on social media. Thank you for accompanying us on this journey of exploring the wonders of Peru. Let's continue to discover the diverse cultures around the world. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to follow our upcoming videos. Thank you for being with us on this journey. See you in the next videos.